Hello everyone, welcome to Harmonygate YouTube channel. So in this tutorial we will see how we can configure SFTP connector in webmethod.io and how we can use the connector to retrieve the file from the SFTP server or how we can upload it. Okay. For that actually we need a SFTP server which we can utilize for this particular demo. So I don't have uh, such a, a, like you know, SFTP server with me. So what we'll do, we'll just uh, use one free SFTP server. Okay. So this is actually the one free SFTP server. You can see the host name, port details are given over here. And you can see this is a read only. Okay. So we'll just configure this particular SFTP server in webmethod.io and create a connector and using that we'll just put that file into uh, sorry read the file because this is a read only right so we'll read the file from this SFTP server in webmethod.io okay so before that we'll just uh, open any uh, SFTP client so I have WinACP installed in my system so I'll just try to connect to this particular server and see whether uh, I'm able to connect or not okay so this is the host name and this is demo then password okay then try to log in okay and in the root directory you can see there is something called as a readme.txt file and if you see this is the content within this uh, txt file okay so what we'll do we'll just create a connector using this connection details and then we'll try to face this readme content uh, um, like no file content in webmethod.io okay so what we'll do next we'll go to our webmethod.io uh, environment and here we are now so we need to create a project okay so click here and give it a project name as sftp underscore demo okay and click on create once it is created you can see there are a lot of options available here but to create the connector you need to go to the connector section and here you can see uh, there's a search icon over here right just click in it and then just search for sftp and you will be able to see this sftp okay click on that and it is asking these many details okay give it a name sftp oh, what is the name okay this is a ropex okay underscore sftp okay then description you can give something host name this is the host name of our sftp server port public key okay this is your two and if you cost if you will choose custom then you need to upload the public key here authentication type is password that is correct and this is the login id and this is the password okay okay other things will keep it as it is and just click on not okay now we'll see uh, this connection has been configured correctly now what we need to do we need to use this connection to retype this particular or read this particular file from this particular server okay so for that now go to integration okay we'll be creating the flow service but you can use to uh, workflow as well okay but uh, in flow service if you go here and click on this plus icon it will ask you to create the flow service we'll give it as sftp underscore demo underscore flow okay and we will be not implementing track as block but that is something you should do okay for the demo purpose we are not doing but you need to do it okay so now if you we'll search with sftp you will be finding this one and the description also you can see it here okay just click on that and here you, you can see there is a, something called a type or choose action there are different uh, things over here and you can see the gate make directory port rename and uh, file rename directory those are available here you can use different actions over here okay so uh, for this demo we'll be reading that file right so for that reason we'll be selecting get okay and here you can see the account icon select on that you need to select the connector that you have configured okay that is our rebex sftp and here if you see the pipeline section 
it is asking you the remote file okay so remote file uh, details you need to keep and for this one this is our remote file name okay see and we'll hard code it okay this is uh, the remote file name and just save it okay now if we'll see return message return code content stream this is the object okay we need to convert it back to string so that you can view it okay so you can actually in the real life project you can see um, check this return code and return message based on that you will get to know whether uh, the file lookup was successful or not okay but we know we have the file in the place so we'll not be um, writing much code over here we'll just convert this content stream object to string then we'll view the content uh, which is available in this particular file okay so for that reason just close it and now we need to convert that stream to string right click on plus icon and search for stream to string okay and click on this pipeline option and you can see content stream to we'll map it to input stream and the output will be in the string format okay so now just save it and now if we'll run it okay now if we'll run it before that let's uh, drop other variables which we don't need no multi select is not working okay now close it and let's run it okay see we'll come to this one and you will able to see the same content in this readme excel or txt file as well okay that's how actually you need to create the connection you need to create the connector and using the connector you can uh, talk to the sftp server and you can transfer files or you can read files whatever you want to do you can do it okay and that's all for this demo thanks a lot and i have also uploaded uh, this content in my website you can go through that one and there will try to uh, put this but export this particular project and put that there that also you can go and check it out thanks a lot have a good day bye bye